The two Buckingham Palace staffers who accused Meghan Markle of bullying reportedly rescinded their claims. Royal reporters Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durant claimed in the epilogue of their newly updated biography Finding Freedom that upon discovery of a formal complaint by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's former communications secretary Jason Knauf, two of the individuals mentioned in the email asked for any allegations made to HR about their experiences with Meghan to be rescinded. Now, originally reported Markle's alleged bullying in October 2018 in an effort to protect staffers, according to a Times report published in March, just days before Harry and Markle's bombshell tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey. I am very concerned that the Duchess was able to bully two PAs out of the household in the past year. The treatment of X was totally unacceptable, read the HR complaint, which redacted the employees' names. The Duchess seems intent on always having someone in her sights, Knauf reportedly added. She is bullying Y and seeking to undermine her confidence. We have had report after report from people who have witnessed unacceptable behavior towards Y. However, The Times apparently failed to report at the time that the staffers backtracked on their accusations upon hearing that Knauf had reported the alleged incidents without their permission. When it became known to, the two individuals, they each asked for the matter to be rescinded and for it to not become an official complaint, a source alleged to Scobie at Harper's Bazaar in March. While reps for Harry, 36, and Markle, 40, previously said the duo had no involvement in finding freedom, the former Suits star reportedly copped to giving personal information to the authors. Page Six reported in April that Finding Freedom would be reissued in August with the addition of chapters about the couple's Winfrey interview, Prince Philip's death and the bullying allegations against Markle. Besides, Meghan Markle felt that the birth of her and Prince Harry's daughter was a blessing from God after her miscarriage, an unauthorized biography of the couple has claimed. Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor was born on June 4 this year, but the Duchess revealed in an essay for The New York Times in November that she had a miscarriage in July last year, around a year after giving birth to Archie. In the piece she described watching my husband's heart break as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of mine. At the time she wrote the essay she was already secretly pregnant with Lilibet, something Meghan reportedly thought was truly a blessing from God. A source told this to the authors of Finding Freedom, the bestseller which has been re-released in paperback with a new epilogue today after originally being released last year. A friend of the couple authors Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, she, Megan, felt it was truly a blessing from God. But this time, they were careful not to tell anyone. It wasn't until toward the end of the year that they both started to feel more relaxed. The authors write, their happy news would remain secret until Megan was well into her second trimester, finally sharing their joy to the world on February 14th. Poignantly, The same day British newspapers had announced that Diana was pregnant with Prince Harry, alongside a photo they took on the grounds of their Montecito home. The book also reveals that the couple were furious to see that somehow a paparazzi photographer had been tipped off about their miscarriage appointment at a clinic. The book states, paparazzi culture in the United States became a new threat. During a July 11 departure from a medical center in Beverly Hills, the couple was furious to discover that a photographer had been tipped of their presence. What should have been a deeply personal moment quickly became the top story on the Daily Mail online, with a dozen photos of the masked couple getting into a Cadillac SUV. The article critiqued their outfits and made comments about their gas-guzzling choice of vehicle. In her New York Times essay, Megan wrote, Sitting in a hospital bed, watching my husband's heartbreak as he tried to hold the shattered pieces of mine, I realized that the only way to begin to heal is to first ask, Are you okay? Losing a child means carrying an almost unbearable grief experienced by many but talked about by few, she continued. In the pain of our loss, my husband and I discovered that in a room of 100 women, 10 to 20 of them will have suffered from miscarriage.